plays a lot of fucking games. Sad old world gamer plays a lot of fucking games. He plays a night and day. He plays his life away. Sad old world gamer plays a lot of fucking games. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's the Old World Gamer and I play a lot of fucking games. And it is the finale to Final Fantasy VI for the Super Nintendo. And I am very much looking forward to this. And I think the first thing we get to do is fight a new boss. Which is Doom, one of the uh, Esper Gods. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and steal with Locke. I mean, I might as well try. And um, first thing I... Well, actually, another thing I want to say is... Uh, my shout-out today goes out to Super Seasona 17 and she is currently Let's Playing Final Fantasy X and Sakura Wars. So head over to her channel and check her out if you like what you see. If you, if you can't like Final Fantasy X, what can you like? <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you like what you see, subscribe and leave her uh, a comment, uh, you know, some feedback, a like, all that good stuff that us Let's Players enjoy seeing. And you never know, she might reciprocate and, you know, might subscribe back to you or something like that. So, go check her out. Anyways, getting back to the battle. I don't think we have stolen yet. Uh, well, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> uh, we'll steal from him again. Okay, no, we haven't stolen anything from him yet. We've been taking our time. And it seems like he uses a lot of ice spells, which is fine by us. The only person who's not benefiting right now is Sabin. And that's because he's Genjag loved. Same thing as Locke, actually. I just... I think I might have missed him, maybe, or... Yeah, missed his Locke for some reason. And we stole a safety bit, which protects you from near-death... or... death spells, such as, like, Doom or something like that, so... As far as I... yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyways. <laughs> and this is going to be a very long episode. If you haven't seen the length of it already, it's almost an hour, but... If you love this game, and if you've enjoyed the story, then you will not... Oh, crap. Oh, that's not going to do anything. But yeah, if you enjoy the story, you are not going to be disappointed with watching all the way through this. And ha, you can't dodge that, because that's a sword-based magic attack. Yeah. And yeah, there we go. Crack, there we go. He's done. That's the first one down. Get out of here, you. Your safety bit. Making me feel all safe. It's. And we get another sky render, which would go to uh, Wass's face. Sign. I think. Pretty sure. And I need to have a sip of beverage. Okay, I'm good. So, yes, I'm really looking forward to this day. It's going to be very emotional, and. Um, I, I just. Yeah. I just. I remember everything at the end. The ending is what really gets me going, and. I'm just gonna warn you now, if, uh, if I get a little teary, <laughs> try not to make too much fun. You can make fun, just try not to do too much. But uh, yeah, I'm fully expecting a, um, an emotional ending of this, because this is such a great game. I just relate to it uh, on a, a lot of levels, and it brings back memories of other things that you know I had to go through in life and stuff. And how this game kind of helped me out and get through it, and just kind of let me escape from the real world. and into a gaming world where I feel more comfortable and and I think a lot of people who are gamers feel that way as well but you know that, that, that's the whole point of games anyways is to immerse yourself in a whole new world a whole new world sorry I'll, I'll, I won't do that but yeah <laughs> don't want to rip off a Latin don't you dare eat that pie no uh, it's no. <laughs> oh and Atomic Grey no that Atomic Grey just healed Setsu and that was it Oh, so, we already know what's up here. We've already defeated the Esper God that was up here. And we are going to go... Of course, be affected by our... Yeah, get interrupted by these things. A vector, Vector. Whatever you want to call them. Kind of sounds like they're, like, fashioned after the city Vector, but, yeah. I don't know. That's what I always used to wonder about. I was like, what if they named them like that on purpose? Oh my god, run away already. What the hell is wrong with you? Healing power. Run. Oh my god. 
Man, this is why I, I didn't want any of these stupid little battles in between. But you know what? There's only probably one or two at most. Oh my jeez. Okay, there we go. <sighs> so, we're gonna go up through here, and you are... Whoa! Well, I'm not gonna save. That, that's for damn sure. Get on your switch. And we don't gotta worry with uh, this next party, because they already have Mog in their team, which means he's going to... Uh, He's going to have the Moogle Charm equipped, so they won't get attacked by anything. And I'm going to give you, sir, the... Um, the Offering. There we go. And that's because I want Locke to do... Yeah, that's why he's getting healed. I already thought that I gave him a Genjug Glove. I thought I did... Well, anyway. Yeah, I did already have him with a Genjug Glove. That's weird. Okay. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, oh, just, I guess, getting ready for the battle at the end here. And a Thornlid gives me... Wow, drops some of my magic defense a lot. So, screw that. And that should be it for them. Uh, oh, wait now. Let's, yeah, let's uh, cure everybody up. There we go. <sighs> okay, so, uh, everyone here seems to be pretty fine. We shouldn't have to worry about too much here, like I said, because of the Moogle Charm, thank God. And they should face off against Goddess. And there she is, in all her glory, the last of the Esper Gods. And I'm pretty sure you can steal... Don't quote me on this, it's either a Ragnarok or an Illumina or an Excalibur from her. One, something like that, I can't remember specifically, and I didn't want to go and look it up, I just kind of wanted to... I guess use my own foggy knowledge <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was, but... Oh, what is this? Oh, Torado. Big old snack. Get out of here, you. It kind of looks like a worm, actually. Like a, a, a young dragon or something. And we're dispelling Mog, and I'm not sure if he's... Uh, yeah, he's still charmed. Okay. That's very unfortunate, but that's all we can do. So, whatever. So we're going to see if uh, magic is destroyed after these three are gone, so it would be really shitty to go into the battle without any magic, but I mean we have plenty of, you know, hard-hitting people there, so we should be able to do lots of damage just with regular, you know, attacks or whatever, so. Oh, I do like the, the boss music, or the, yeah, the, the, yeah, boss music, that works on this. What did it did it did it did it did it? Yeah. This guy should, or this lady should almost be finished. And again, uh, see, like, Hearts of Crusader kind of remind me of her as well. And she almost looks like Starlet. Um. In this game. And, uh. Like, I don't know. It's, instead of lying down, she stood up on top of somebody else's head with a medallion in the back? Uh, she's probably naked in the Japanese version. I th think she might have been. There's a lot of changes in the Japanese version due to nudity and stuff like that. Like, in the Japanese version, they didn't take any of it out, obviously, but when it came to North America, they were like, whoa, 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 we can't have a naked lady. And, I mean, I don't even think it was anything like you could see her naked. Like, it just probably just looked like a Barbie doll or something, just plain or something, but I don't know. People are weird about that kind of stuff. I don't know why. Sunflare, take Bahamut to the face. Yeah. I wonder how the espers feel about attacking their own gods. I don't know. I guess I guess they have resolve and they know what you know why they're doing it. So, chainsaw finisher off. Yes, of course it does. <sighs> Unfortunately, we weren't able to steal from her because we had no one in the party who could really. But we beat her regardless. Ten magic points. An Excalibur. Oh, that's where we, we get an Excalibur from her. We, may, we get an extra one from stealing from her too? I'm sure someone's going to answer me in the comments regardless, so it doesn't really matter too much. And magical power will not disappear. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Kefka drained the statue's power. The source of magic. Oh boy. Time to get out some... Uh, let's see, make sure everyone's equipped fully. I think we're I think we're pretty much fine. I like. I might as well save here in the last save point. 
Cause I still got some more work to do for another bonus video. This is it. Another sip of drink. Oh, sorry if you guys heard that. It was probably a live bump. Oh, and the music's all crazy and trippy. Okay, and where the hell's Kefka? Welcome, friends! Still the same old Kefka, calling his friends, being all sarcastic. I knew you'd make it here, so I've prepared some suitable entertainment for you. Oh, yeah, and what would that be? I like the. the kind of 3D prism there. How long are you going to let the dest- Oh wait, how long are you going to let the destruction continue? I've tapped into the ultimate power. Observe. Such magnificent power. You are like insects to me. I will exterminate everyone and everything. People will- Well, people will keep rebuilding the things you take from them. I'm so not ready for that. Then I'll destroy those, too. Why do people rebuild things when they know they're going to be destroyed? Why do people cling to life when they know they can't live forever? Think how meaningless each of your lives is. Ooh, I don't know if that changed the color with the uh, his emotion or not. It's not the net result of one... Oh, it's the date of day concerns, the personal victories, and the celebration of life and love. Oh, Kefka wasn't happy with that. It's enough if people are able to experience the joy that each day can bring. And have you found your joy in this nearly dead world of ours? Yes. Ooh, that's some resolve. Terra is getting mad. Never mind. I know what love is, and I have learned to celebrate life and the living. My family lives on inside of me. It is my dream to build a kingdom in which I can guarantee freedom and dignity. I have come to experience anew the love of my brother. That's kind of cool. I've met someone who can accept me for what I am. I have a special little I have a special little granddaughter! <laughs> and I have a brave grandpa who will stand by me through it all. My friend's airship and her love. I have my friends here! <laughs> You, my friends, me, all of you. Oh, Gav. You weird little bastard. <laughs> oh. This is sickening. You sound like chapters from a self help booklet. Prepare yourselves. Oh, boy. Now, for my next trick, I will make you all disappear. Oh, he's not very happy with us. <laughs> Kefka's getting mad. <sighs> so, I think this is where we get to pick our group, possibly, or is there more story? Kefka, you don't know what you're doing. Stop! Oh, snap. Jesus Christ. I guess that's the light of judgment, just zooming across the landscape and ocean. I command the greatest power in the universe. You're all helpless before me. Again. Oh, whoa, whoa. Big old flaming pillar. <laughs> I will destroy everything. I will create a monument to non existence. <laughs> Life will go on. There will always be people and dreams. No! I will hunt them down. I will destroy it all. Destroy, destroy, destroy! We will not allow you to harm another living thing. <laughs> and what fun is destruction if no precious lives are lost? Damn. And there goes the load of judgment. But if you notice, he's not actually hitting any of the big land masses. Unless he's trying to tidal wave them or something, which would be really dickish as well. Because that would be pretty terrifying. It's over, Kefka! And here we get to pick out our order, and oh, 
this is the final battle. This is it. Uh, I should have no problems with the levels that I'm at, with the people that I have, the equipment that I have. My god. If there's any way that I lose this, I deserve it. <laughs> so, um, I I'm pretty... I'm pretty certain that I'm, I'm gonna be able to beat this in the first go. I don't think I'll need to, like, worry about... Well, obviously I can't do save states in a Super Nintendo, but... Oh, still, let's see. Um... Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot about Gogo. Gogo's pretty much got everybody's abilities. I might as well put him further up on the list. Cyan, Mog, and then Gao. Poor old Mog and Gao at the very end. But it's battle time. Now, everybody else has their own strategies for this. Always tra treated this the same. I just fight this like it's a regular battle. I don't go for any special things. I don't, you know, try and blind it and then try and kill it like that. I've never tried doing that. I just go straight up attack. Oh, let's use Ragnarok. And well, first, let's use Ultima. Reverse uh, Luminaire from the like, Pono Trader. Well, this was first, so Luminaire is the reverse of that, I guess. And I guess I could have turned his hand into an odd drop, but I doubt it's gonna hit. And yeah, this music also in the background is pretty damn crazy as well. We'll just flare him a screen. No. Yes, there. No, I don't think quarter is gonna work on any of them. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna fight with Taylor Scott. goes one of the hands. <sighs> okay, and I don't know why I didn't get all the rest of the tools when I glitched the game. I can just go back to figure out and buy them all, but yeah, for some reason I, I, I didn't go back and get them. Not that I need them, but I usually use the auto crossbow a lot, obviously, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, everyone's overpowered, and yeah, if you notice, Locke is going crazy now because he has the offering and two Illuminas. Wow, the only one hurt. Well, yeah, he doesn't have a Paladin Shield on, that's why. And Shockwave is gonna probably. Oh, miss! Okay, and. Miss again! Damn, Locke's evasion is crazy high. He was getting missed by a lot of stuff on the way up through Kefka's Tower as well, so. Yeah, we've taken out the first part of the boss. And yes, this is multi stages. So, if you. Again, if you're new to this game, this is going to be a longer battle. And, oh. And each one of these sprites, honestly, for each one of these sprites are works of art. I mean, they're all really good art pieces all the way up through the game. But, I mean, this one especially, it's just so... Uh, I know there's a special name for it, the type of art that it is, but uh, I don't know it offhand, but... I guess it's kind of like, uh damn, I can't think of any of the art people at all right now, off the top of my head, but... I like this style. It's the same thing as the mono. I like a mono style. I like this style. The way that they have the, you know, the sprites set up here. It's just, you know, a bunch of different things, like, melded together to create one thing. And, I don't know, it just looks really good. And I'm going to try and switch up uh, lock with... Oh, God, let's go do this faster. With two uh, Atma weapons, because he's only doing about 3,000, 3,500 damage, something around there. So, I want to do more. So, oh, shite. Oh, that's nice. Um, we're gonna need to heal lock. Because, uh... Oh, never mind, he's fine. He's fine. Uh, use Ultima again. And look at that damage. Jeez. Is everything dead? Nope. Ten hits. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it beaten? No, almost. Oh, Flare Star. This thing looks pretty cool. Yeah, I, li I liked a lot of the animations of some of the spells that you see here at the end of the game as well. Kefka does one, and quite honestly, I'm not 100% sure if he'd done it in our battle or not. I might have OP'd him right to hell. So... I hope he did do it because I want to see it again. It's it's just a really, really, really good animation. And fire three again. Are you no? 
No, don't quarter us. My lock is gonna be super weak. You bastards! And... Oh my god, stop attacking. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Dispel. Oof. And we've defeated it. Yes, okay, good. Next round, round three. And again, the music in the background is still going crazy. Listen. <laughs> See, these kind of look like the gods here going up through. Like this one kind of reminds me partly of Kefka and Goddess behind them. And it's just gonna miss lock apparently. That's good. Oh, I, 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 I just, I don't know. I, I love this game so much. <laughs> like just the, the look at the background there too. It looks very like end of the world type thing. Like very, sorry to use this word. I don't you like using it that much, but it looks very epic. This is when epic should be used, not with, you know at the end of every sentence when you know the younger crowd like to do, but. This is something that's epic. This battle is epic. The background, the music, everything about this ending is epic, so... That's my definition of the word right there. With how awesome this game is. Is he beaten? Yes, he is. This is the intro music. Kefka. And wait for it, he's dropping in. He's that deluded, he thinks he's an angel. <laughs> probably a god, he probably thinks he's a god. Life. Dreams. Hope. Where did they come from and where are they headed? These things. I am going to destroy! And time to go all out on his ass. There's only one target to worry about, so just keep beating on him. This would also be probably a good time to use Life 3 on everybody to make sure there's no uh, overpowered spells that might get you. Uh, I don't think it's anything I have to worry about specifically, but it wouldn't hurt regardless, so... And this is one of the spells I hate the worst because everyone's dropped to one. So now, not only do you have to do that, you have to cure everybody as well. Oh jeez, uh, I hope I got everybody just in. And because that happened and I already had fight inputted, look at how much, or how little damage the lock is doing. That's the downside of the Atma weapon. Now, the reason I'm life 3 lock is for the fact that he has the offering. He still has the power to be able to kill whoever if he's full power. So, we're gonna try and cure everybody up as best we can. The end comes beyond- oh. Yeah, that thing looks kinda creepy. It kinda looks like Freddy Krueger's head or something. Like, burned off face kinda thing. Oh, it's trippy. Okay, everybody's full powered again. And, oh, Illumina should do great damage against Kefka, cause they're all pearl based, and I think he's more or less dark, or like, evil. So, I guess the Illuminas work just as well on them as the Atma weapons, if not better, so... It doesn't matter. Kefka is done! Probably the best way that a boss could die in this game. Slowly, slowly, crumbling, turning to dust. And at least then you're assured that he's dead, he's not coming back. Like I said with Gestal, he fell off the floating arm, but that doesn't mean that he died. He, anything could have happened. Maybe he had some magic, enough magic left in himself that he cured himself and cast float. You know, whatever, but Kefka is crumbling before our eyes. He is dead, defeated, done. And it feels good. <laughs> Wait for it.
Oh no, dude. I thought it was gonna go. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it's breaking up! Yep. So this place is starting to crumble because it was made out of, I guess, him and his magic. Oh, here's Umaro. There's no time to lose. Airship's just ahead. We're Shadow. Oh, Shadow's right there. Okay, I almost didn't see him. Jesus. Come on, everybody. We have to work together. Oh, Terra, what's wrong? Oh, shit. All the espers are fading from existence. The Magicite. Magic is disappearing from this world. The Espers, they no longer exist. You mean Terra 2? Come with me, I can lead you out with my last ounce of strength. Wow. This is a pretty cool animation, too. That's pretty good for Super Nintendo. Sign as Sign Garamond. This <laughs> the game's already starting to bug me. <laughs> Sign, think you can handle that switch? Machines. I hate machines. <laughs> Still try and keep that in the game. That's pretty cool. You just have to show technology who's boss. <laughs> Sets her as Sets her Gabbiani. <laughs> Is it wait? <laughs> nope, go this way. Boom. <laughs> that was a very good choice. Let's go that way. <laughs> Sometimes in life you just have to feel your way through a situation. Yeah, don't go always relying on luck. Daryl, I'm starting to sound just like you. Edgar as Edgar Roni Figaro could be Ronnie and Sabin as Sabin Rene Figaro uh oh uh, oh no oh, <laughs> Sabin comes in to rescue his brother I didn't turn my back on the kingdom big brother <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be a better king. Now I know why I have these stupid muscles. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just called him a Bing brother. <laughs> Mog as... Mog. I love Mog. He's awesome. Whoa! <laughs> uh, get him, little guy! Help! Save me! <laughs> no, nope, Edgar to the rescue. It's a good thing he knows how to use machines. Damn. Uh, <laughs> just hooks him on the head. <laughs> Wait for it. 
the hair! Watch the hair! <laughs> then he gets down and he's like, oh, mad face. <laughs> and where there's Mog, there's Umaro. As? Umaro! Oh yeah, I forgot that they, that they gave him a little scene in this. It won't open. And Umaro's like, ah, blah, blah, blah. and they're all like, "What the hell? Oh Jesus!" Ah, blah, 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 blah. He's like, "Oh, <laughs> way to make a path through." And the uh, very, very unexplained Gogo. As Gogo. The last three all have the same. What are they, share? Sting? And, oh, yeah, this is kind of funny, too. <laughs> Whoosh. Uh. Both buttons have to be pressed simultaneously. Gogo, watch the last and do exactly what she does. Boom. And nice. Everyone got out. And what about Gogo? Oh. Oh, there's just little eyes there. <laughs> and Gao. As Gao. Gao find shortcut. <laughs> Gao find shortcut. <laughs> yeah, he seriously has probably the saddest story out of all of them, probably. So kind of feel for Gao. Lock as Lock Cole. Cole's actually a very popular name around here, anyways, as well as a last name, so. And Celeste as Celeste Cher. Oh, that's weird. I was just talking about Cher. Oh. Come on, the floor's about to break apart. Like, wait, I gotta go back for this. Oh crap. It's starting to fall. Oh no. <laughs> Lock! I will not let go. I promise. You almost ate it trying to pick up that silly trinket. It's probably something he gave her. So you're to blame. Tara as Tara Branford. Father? Tara, we must part now. We espers will disappear from this world forever. But if the human part of you is very strongly attached to something or someone, you will probably be able to remain this world as a human being. <clears throat> and with that, she watches her father <laughs> die in front of her eyes. That's pretty tragic as well. <laughs> they, like I said, they really know how to play on emotions in this game. Really, really badly. <laughs> Realm, as. Realm Aaron Aroni. Oh my god, that's a hard name to say. Aroni. I guess it's Aroni. <laughs> no, <laughs> poor Strago. 
Grandpa, stop goofing around. <laughs> Sorry, di <laughs> Sorry, dear. If I e hear even a peep out of you, I'm going to paint your portrait. No, anything but that. <laughs> and I was like, but you know, just once I'd really like to do a portrait of you. On canvas, of course. Realm, how can you be thinking about pictures at a time like this? And speaking of Mr. Strago... <laughs> Actually, no, we're gonna go to Shadow. Who, if you didn't find out by now, Shadow is actually, um, Realm's mother. I think it's mother. They keep saying her, and I don't know, it, it looked like she was a guy in the sprites and dreams, which I didn't really show in this game either. And look at this. Aww. Oh. Makes the dog go away. <laughs> and Barum is Realm's father. <laughs> and Strago as. Strago Magus. <laughs> no, no! A kid like me doesn't know the meaning of defeat! <laughs> you crazy old coot! <laughs> he goes for it! Gotcha! <laughs> And you, <laughs> me, the old world gamer, Stefan, whatever you want to call me, the player. Oh. Now, getting to the airship. Come with me! And, wow, she just jumps up and starts flying. She probably couldn't use that ability earlier in the game. The last piece of Magicite! Makes me wonder who that last piece was, who held on the longest. Tara, it's okay. Your power, it's fading. She's like, nope, I am getting you guys out of this. Man. Oh shit, she's starting to fade. Tara, your strength is going. Oh, and she's falling to the earth. Get her, get her, get her. <laughs> Whoa. I assume they were able to get her. Oh, no, all the kids are running back. I wonder where they... What's going on there? Oh, it's the kids from the village! Mo Blizz! And... <laughs> Looks like Katerin... <laughs> Do right, Katerin! Gotta hang in there. Oh, it's Tara trying to talk to her. <laughs> Mama! And it doesn't look like they got her. Maybe she faded? <laughs> Just a little longer. Where's Tara? She's still safe. She's still with us. Thank you, Setzer. <laughs> Didn't I say before, this is the world's fastest ship. <laughs> and we have a credit roll. So, again, this was... This is definitely my favorite game. I've never had a game that, like I said, ever affected me emotionally as much as this game ever does. Um, Little uh, beknownst to you, or beknownst to you, yeah, that I'm trying to use that properly. But um, I had to stop the recording a couple of times. I, I really didn't want to <laughs> make a fool of myself in this, but 
Uh, it's just, like I said, there's a lot of things that you can relate with. Um, losing a loved one, you know, like a, a husband or a wife or a girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, losing a parent was in there as well. Self-sacrifice, um, you know, when Shadow, you know, told the Interceptor to go out with them. And Yoshi Takamano, oh my man, you've done all the, most of the designs. The only one that he didn't do was this one here at the end here, as far as I know. Uh, this is one that I found online that I think somebody else did. It's just a group of people, all of them on the uh, airship, so. But yeah, they had a lot of stuff in this that, you know, uh, stuff about, you know, a new baby being born with Guterin, and, uh, you know, the end of the world, how you would feel about that. Um, losing a friend, I mean, there's just, there's so many ways, like, they want to make sure that everybody's affected. Whoever plays this game is going to be, you know, affected emotionally, and it's, it's just a well-structured game. The gameplay is so much fun, the story is incredible, the art, and just... Like I said, everything with this game, I, I just, this is, in my opinion, probably one of the best games ever made. And that's just, again, that's my honest opinion. That's the way I feel about this game. It's it's a shame to see it over, and, it, and I mean, it gives me the reason to, to want to go and do a ROM hack of a prequel for this, because it's deserved. The game is so good, they should have tried to do more with it. Whether it was a prequel or a sequel, I didn't care, but... It like it, it always made me sad to see that this game was done and that you know I can return to it and still play the same story, but I can't interact anymore with those people. I know what's gonna happen. I know what they're gonna say. I know how they feel, and that's another thing. You, the, the, the people in the game, the text and, and the context that, that you know everything is set in, and you know they have their little jokes and stuff, but they know how to make you feel the emotion that they want you to feel in each scene, and it's just it's so well developed. Uh, I don't know what happened to the people who made this game, but they need to come back and make more. They need, I mean, Squaresoft, whatever the hell they're called, Square Enix, I don't care what they're called. They need to get back into doing what they're doing. A lot of the video game companies do. Stop fooling around with the, this new age bullshit. Go back to doing what was good. The, you know, the stuff that people remember, the stuff that people like. Uh, I mean, no offense to, to the Final Fantasy series or anything, but like, Crystal Chronicles, that was a game that's never going to be remember, you know, memorable to me. Memorable, Jesus. But yeah, Crystal Chronicles is never going to be memorable to me, just because I didn't think it was that great of a game, and that's just me. <laughs> you know, so... And I'm not saying that they didn't make any other good games, because they definitely, definitely, DEFINITELY did. Um, Final Fantasy VIII, another one of my... It's probably my favorite game uh, in the Final Fantasy series after this one. I also love Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, obviously, everyone loves that. 10, X2 was okay. Um, you know, uh, the only one that I didn't really play was 9 and some of the other ones in between. The first one was fun, but there was a lot of dragged out spots. Like, uh, was it someone was mentioning to about the other day about um, the one dungeon where you walk through and every step you're in a battle or in an encounter. So, that, that can be annoying, but I mean, you know, it was still a good game. It still had a good story. It's what started. Final, San, uh, Final Fantasy, it's what made it what it is today, so I, I think they've done a very good job. <sighs> so, um, yeah, like I said, now that this is over and this is the finale, uh, I'm going to, yeah, this is also a very, very nice, like, I can't believe they've done that. It looks so nice for Super Nintendo. I'm not saying the ground, but the, the little airship animation there. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, now that this is done and this is the finale, um, I'm probably going to continue on with, uh, Pokemon XD. And, uh, I'm going to probably be doing that, uh, Monday to Friday as well with Skyrim. Because I want to get it done and over with. Uh, there's a lot of people who want to see more of it anyways. And the quicker I get it done, the quicker I can start on, uh, Pirates. And the quicker Pirates is started and, you know, finished, the quicker I can start a new game, so such as the 8-bit summer that I wanted to do, so... Poor Terra. But wait! What's this? Oh! Looks like Katarin had her baby! A new dad, a new new life into the world. Everybody's happy. 
Dwayne looks like he's a proud father. So he should be. He's like, hey, everybody come this way. And the kids are all like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go. You guys can stay here by yourselves. <laughs> and it looks like they're passing over everybody in their airship. <laughs> that was a big jump. Jesus. <laughs> She's laughing. That's an awesome look for Terra there. That's awesome. Oh, man. Oh, and it looks like they're fixing up the burned down house in Thamasa. So there's going to be some new scenery there when Realm and Strago get back. So the world's going to, you know, begin anew. <laughs> Bye, Realm. <laughs> oh, it looks like they're, the, the sapling's starting to grow there, too. Very nice. I think that's collagen. And collagen. <laughs> oh, flying over Figaro Castle. Visiting all the places they know. All the places we should all know. This is pretty awesome too. Watch this. <laughs> Tara's feeling all free, letting her hair blow in the wind. See, again, an epic ending. Oh. God damn, I love this game so much. That kind of looks like a face there in the background, like a very angry face. That looks like the bridge of Mount Colt. Ah, uh, and there's, uh, was it Leet River? So <laughs> they're really going over a lot of different places. Oh, the Ghost Woods or the Phantom Forest. So, yeah, starting Monday, I'll probably be doing Pokemon five days a week then. That is going to be fun to do, and I'm hoping everyone else is going to be looking forward to it. I'm hoping everyone's going to be looking forward to 8-Bit Summer, and by all means, all the people I know out there, by all means, please join me. I would very much enjoy that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe uh, to keep up to date with my videos. I also have a, blogging, or a vlogging video and a cooking channel, and uh, if you like this, please thumbs it up. I want to get great ratings on this last finale. I know it's long, but... <sighs> and leave any comments you have down below. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thank you very, very much for joining me for this LP. It was spectacular. It was heart-wrenching. And as always, I'm the Old World Gamer. And I'll see you guys soon in a new LP. Take care, everybody.